Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, is my Bath and Body Works collection. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this, but I know it has something to do with my Bath and Body Works collection. So, um, I have a lot. And there's some here that is not exactly from Bath and Body Works. I'll say those at the end in case you only want to see my Bath and Body Works stuff. Totally understand. Um, you can just stop watching when I'm done with all my Bath and Body Works stuff. I'll let you guys, guys know for sure. Um, so yeah, let's start with my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. We're going to go from favorite probably to like least favorite or um, yeah, let's do that. So my first and my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works is Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is my die hard favorite. As you can see, like I use most half of this a little bit, a little bit, yeah, like little bit under half um but i use so much of this i love this smell so so much and i don't know why i left it at home i don't know why because i missed it, it smells so freaking good it is like what i like about it is not just like super floral like you're not just smelling like flowers you're kind of smelling a little bit of extra um i don't know what else is in it um it actually says on the back of the lotions which i can read um so it has japanese cherry blossom asian pear fresh mimosa petals white jasmine blushing sandalwood so i think like there's those other scents that really just add to the lotion um so this is the lotion it looks like this um you can tell it's used and abused when it has that crease in it because you gotta like squeeze to get everything out and i have to turn it upside down to get anything out of it um but i love this lotion as well oh just the whole japanese cherry blossom line is my favorite i also have a body wash from their line uh so 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 good i'm putting it in my bathroom right now because i just finished my other body wash um which you'll see in my empties video or my project pan one of those um but yeah i don't know i just love their body washes honestly and it's something like that i keep repurchasing every time i go to get a body wash um you know i'll buy some from like walmart or dollar tree or whatever wherever i get my um normal body wash from but when i go to bath and body works they only get japanese cherry blossom um body wash like I, do, I haven't tried any other ones this is like my favorite die hard ride or die like this is my favorite um and then the last thing is this japanese cherry blossom um body cream so i don't really i'm not really a fan of their body creams anything like this i don't know i don't like this pack i mean i like the packaging of this but i don't like this formula it seems to be like a little bit um thicker but also a little bit greasier i don't really know how to explain that but i definitely just like the traditional these better um so if you're gonna pick one i'd pick this one um but obviously that's your preference um i don't think i'd ever rebuy a one of these again or even like this kind of style of lotion i'll probably just buy again the traditional one but um you know it still smells amazing so there's that's a plus if you're into body creams okay so the next scent so we're gonna instead of going from favorite to least favorite i'm gonna go from now i'm gonna go to lotions and i'll do perfumes and then i'll go like that just because it might be a little bit easier like that to follow to understand to comprende so because i have a lot 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 so the um so the first lotion that i want to talk about is again this is kind of this is cheating but this is still my second favorite scent but um it's just a lotion so this is dark kiss oh first of all the packaging is literally my life i love this packaging it is so like what is that i don't even know what that word is like deep and mysterious i don't know i love it and if this body these keynotes has black raspberry burgundy rose bergamot bergamot don't know how to say that incense dark vanilla beam and plum musk and like you'll find a trend here like a lot of my things a lot of the things that i have have a little bit of a musk to them because i'm obsessed with like that deep scent and i'm not really into like the real floral scents i don't know how to explain it like i like the non-traditional full floral scents that are like sweet but like not over the top sweet like i really like the scents that have a little musk to them because they just smell so good um so this one is like one of my absolute favorites again this is something i'll repurchase if you can see i use so much of it um over the holidays they always have buy three get three free and this is definitely something that i'm going to be getting maybe in a perfume though 
um lotions are hard like i get tired of lotions so fast that's why you can see like most of them are like pretty far down and then that's it because i'm like i need a new one already um but maybe i'll get in a perfumer body wash maybe i'll try it in a body wash i don't know but i love this scent so good um these bottles are $12.50, which is kind of pricey, but they, again, they have so, so many, so many sales all the time. You have to just like keep, like get, get the email, sign up, just make sure that they're emailing because they have so many, so many good sales all the time. And you can get some really great scents for really cheap. And this is one of them. I love this formula of lotion, but I also love this freaking scent. It's so good. Okay. So this next lotion is meh this is honolulu sun so um as you you know you can see by the title it is a very tropical scent the, by the title by the bottle it is a very tropical scent it is just like this is exactly what it smells like you know when you look at that and you're like i can smell that this is what exactly what this smells like it smells like the keynotes are fresh island coconut pacific palm ocean air cord um sun-drenched citrus and white sand musk again there's that musk to it which is not as you know not you can't smell it as much as you can smell it in dark kiss but it is it does take away a little bit of like the sweet fruity tropical scent um but it's still in there a little bit that's why again i haven't used too too much of it because it's like one of those like i'll use and then i get tired of it so i was like <laughs> um but obviously you know i'm gonna use it eventually this is definitely more of a summer smell it's one of those smells that bugs are gonna love like they're gonna be all over you if you have this on so i'd be careful of that um but it does smell really nice if you're into tropical smells me again it's like meh Okay, so next, let's just go into the last lotion that I have that is from Bath & Body Works, and that is the Super Soft Body Butter. Um, again, I do not like their, uh, what is this? This is called body cream. I don't like their body creams or their body butters. I like their regular just lotions, um, so I won't be buying a body butter again, but um, this is in the shade, this is in the shade, this is in the smell Love & Sunshine. It's really pretty packaging, you know, just really cute and fun thing to have, but I just don't like the formula of them. You often, like, feel greasy, like it doesn't absorb into the skin. It kind of sits on top of the skin and that like drives me nuts like nuts but um if you go to you put this on your body oh my gosh my favorite thing to do is i put it all over my body and i'll go to bed and i wake up the next morning and my skin is so 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 soft so soft so this really does help um super soft literally it really does help your skin to be really get really soft but it's not something you could like constantly put on like it's something probably after the shower you put it on go to bed whatever that's really great like a great use for it but you know like if you're looking for just your hands to get um some lotion they're a little bit ashy something like i would not grab this because it makes your hands feel a little bit greasy i just grab their traditional like lotion um and anyway and even though that it does make my body even though it makes my body really soft i still rather you know get this and put it on before bed rather than this like it's nothing super super special that i need this specific container and if you know if you have nails you know the struggle of scooping things out because then it gets in your nails and you're not to like dig it out like so annoying so that bothers me i have to like use my knuckle and then um this is my project pan so that's why i haven't opened it yet but the inside is looking real nice but it's getting real low so i have to like scoop it out like crazy it's really annoying but okay so let's move into perfumes oh my gosh i have so many perfumes literally my life is insanity i don't know why i have so many perfumes i don't know why it's because i smell them and i'm like oh this is so banging okay so let me just let me start with the two um kind of different perfumes the first one here is pink cashmere i think they discontinued this one i don't know but um this is one of their mini sizes this is just the fragrance mist um yeah it's just this little small bottle i don't i haven't seen the scent in a long time but i got this like ages ago and it still smells so good i love this it is like very um let me just again this is a very musk musk filled scent but with like a hint of sweetness so it's kind of like a good mixture if you like to smell like kind of not so fruity at all um i really love it I, this is something like i'm real into this and i haven't used it in a long time but you can see i used a lot of it and i used to have two different bottles of this <laughs> because i loved it that much so um and these are great gifts too this is a little bottle because even if they don't like it it's only a little bottle it's not like you're wasting your money or anything you know so i think that this is a really good gift but it also smells banging so if you're seeing pink cashmere go smell it and um love it because it smells banging <laughs> yeah but i really don't think they have this anymore because i haven't seen it in a long time but 
I don't know. It's not like something that like I'm so bummed about them not having. If they took away Dark Kiss or Japanese Cherry Blossom, I'd fight somebody. But this, I think that it's fine that it's not there because it's nothing super, super special. It's something that's kind of like, it's good, but it's good if you have it, but if you don't have it, you're not missing out on anything. Basically, if that makes sense. And then this next scent. <sighs> look at this bottle, first of all. This is an upgrade. This is how their regular bottles look. This is the better bottle, which I think is so cute. So much cuter, honestly, so sophisticated. I think it's like, it makes it look fancy, but when you realize you only paid $12.50 for a bottle like this, you're like, and these are plastic. So, I mean, it gives the illusion that it's like glass and like all that, but it really is just plastic still beautiful um so this is lovely dreamer this is a fine fragrance mist fine fragrance mist i don't know why i can't say that this keynotes are fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot this is a very very musk musky scent it smells a lot like man cologne but like with a hint of girl with a hint of girliness so honestly if you're not into like smelling like a guy almost like if you're not into smelling musky like a guy would then you're not gonna like this i personally love it for like special occasions because it's a special occasions because i feel like it's a very mature scent like it's very um yeah i feel like it's a very mature scent there's nothing else to say like that like it's not too sweet it's not too floral it's not too tropical like it's a very mature scent and I really love it for like special occasions and I used to wear it like non-stop but then I was like all right I need to use something else um I mean okay I guess I used to non-stop for like two weeks that was it um because then again I got so many new perfumes so I've just been using a lot of them back and forth but now I have a perfume in my project pan so it's just a lot that's why I haven't used it that much but I do like it like if I'm going somewhere fancy oh perfect the first perfume here ooh, ooh, this is happy vibes oh my gosh um, start at, uh, every day with happy vibes. Enjoy the an energizing blend of pink citrus, crisp, crisp pear, and fresh honeysuckle. This scent is actually like, I do not know why I don't wear it. Oh my gosh, I like hate myself right now because it smells so good. It is a very, um, it's very like, it's not a like really boom in your face scent. Like a lot of my scents I have are like, you know, like smack in the face when you smell it. This is a very like good mist. Again, it's a very like just a wake, waking up, wake, waking up in her. It's a very, it's a very good scent for like um, a fresh scent. It's a very fresh and like, you're like, I'm wide awake now because of the scent. Like when you think of fresh, a lot of time it's like fresh fruit. But like it's not a fresh fruit. It's just like a fresh musk smell. I really like this one too. Again, this is one I probably use the least out of every single one of my perfumes. I don't know why. It smells so banging. I got like six lotions for like $14 or $16 or something crazy like that. Like under $20. Because they're having like this crazy, crazy sale where everything was like half off. But then it was still like buy three, get three. And so I got like a really, really good deal on a bunch of these. And so I, I'll show you like everything that I got. But the next lotion that I bought in that purchase, what I mean this perfume, is... I don't even know how to say that. This Coconut Sunset. Um... Oh, it doesn't have the key notes on here. This is so beautiful. You're like, oh my gosh, take me away to an island. So good. Like, I'm obsessed with this scent. It really smells very tropical, but also, like, peaceful. Like, it's not a harsh tropical. Like, there's not really that much musk to it. I don't even think there's any really. Yeah, not really. It's very tropical, but it's not too, too sweet. Like, you know how you smell some perfumes and you're like so sweet it's not like that it's very nice tropical but it's not musky so if you are like everything i've said turns you off i think this might be a good opposite opposite of from what i've been saying um i love this one again you can see i use a lot of it but um i use not a lot but i use some of it and to use that much you know and have so many perfumes it's like this must be a really good scent i love this scent and again i don't know if they sell this anymore because this is clearly a little bit summer um so i know they bring out their like pumpkin not pumpkin, but like their holiday smells, which I'm not a fan of. I don't do holiday smells. Smells, BTW. You know, if you're ever like, let's mean, let me give Marissa a gift. I don't do holiday smells. Don't get me a pumpkin spice candle. No. Don't, gingerbread candle, no thanks. Just give me some regular scents. We're good. <laughs> but obviously I don't need any more anyway. But just if you're like, this is the easiest gift, don't do, don't do holiday scents. Anyway, that's besides the point. Anyway, this one smells so, so good. I'm obsessed. Um, so I actually got, I got these three, uh, these three. I definitely got, because these were all from the summer. Um, and then I also bought, I think I, 
I don't even remember. And then I got this for sure. So I have right now that's four. Um, I definitely got one. I got a Japanese cherry blossom body wash, but I used that already. So this is just a new one. But I definitely got one of these before, and I can't remember what the third, the fourth thing was. Oh, duh, Marissa, it's this perfume right here. This is Picnic Summer Daisy. So I got a bunch of the summer scents because summer was ending. I remember it was the end of the summer, so they were having a big sale. Um, so I got a bunch of the summer scents. So I got the three perfumes here. I have the three perfumes here um coconut sunset happy vibes and this one right here and then i got um this lotion this lotion and then a body wash the japanese shade blossom body wash so i got a lot of stuff for like 16 bucks it was something crazy but this pinker pinker this picnic summer daisies i love this scent again it smells so good but it is very musk it's very very musk um so it's crisp pear summer daisies honeysuckle fresh nectar i honestly don't smell any of that in this like this kind of smells like um this one to me very similar this one's a little bit not as it's not as um harsh of a scent but it still smells pretty similar so i don't really get like the crisp pear or the summer daisies or the honeysuckle or the fresh nectar because those seems like sweet smells to me this isn't really that sweet but you know it's worth a smell again i just this is like something that if i didn't have it i wouldn't miss it but like since i have it i'm not gonna get rid of it or maybe i'll give it like as a gift there's not that much use right <laughs> that's so horrible like i could just give this as a gift i only use like two squirts like look at this one barely anything out of there just if you get this as a gift and you're like marissa i saw that video just call me out on it call me out on it do it do it <laughs> so this next this is the newest scent to my collection and i'm so mad this is what inspired the video because i'm um you know I, I was gonna i was talking about some in the video in one of my other last videos but i bought this and i was like oh my gosh i have too many perfumes so what is wrong with you why would you buy this but this smells <sighs> so banging again if you does it have the key notes probably not but it is very musky um if you hate me right now you know just click off the video i'm sorry but this smells so banging it smells like flowers mixed with this scent so if you have like just for reference if you have this scent or have one of them they smell very similar but this one is very like a little bit more floral and more like girly and more um summery and more you know like fresh um i love this smell so much literally if after you check out dark kiss and japanese cherry blossom check out this scent for sure this is a new one and i don't know if it's limited edition but you need to run and smell this because it smells like jesus that's such a crazy thing to say but <laughs> it smells just so good this is probably like my favorite perfume scent because i love japanese cherry blossom but i don't wear the perfume too often i love the lotion i love the body wash but like the perfume i don't know if i'd buy the perfume again but like dark kiss i love this lotion but like this perfume the spraying it on my body and constantly smelling it on my shirt this is probably one of my favorites from bath and body works because i'll tell you my favorite in a second but from bath and body works this is like so good. so next if you or the people who watching this watch this video and just want to see my bath and body work stuff you can click off now because i'm switching gears um i hope you enjoyed this video if you are clicking off i'll see you in my next one don't forget to go um you know subscribe like this video and go watch all my other videos or if you have a video idea, idea comment them below um but if you're sticking around i have two more products and it will be fast and easy so the first product here is um, this pink wild breezy body lotion and I do have to say I love the packaging of these like the pump and like having you know the big bottle like even though the bottle is really big I don't know like I wish maybe it was a little bit smaller I do like the having this you know the pump and stuff it makes life just so much easier um, but I don't really like like I'm not a fan of pink lotion I got this as a gift so I didn't buy it um, but I don't, like, if you can, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, like, watery to me. It's very, very liquidy. And it smells delightful. This is a banging scent. Oh, so good. Um, but I feel like it's just watery and, like, it kind of just waters around your hands. Like, I don't know. I don't feel, I don't feel moisturized when I use it, almost. I feel like there's, like, just stuff sitting on top of your hands. I don't know. This is just, like, not, not... A staple and I probably won't get any other pink lotions I want to try some pink perfumes but lotions are probably like 
just I'm never gonna get a lotion again from there um these are $18 which like you probably how let's see how much let's do math real quick you get um 16.9 fluid ounces and this one you only get eight fluid ounces but I think the quality on this is better and this is 12.50 so you're paying less for better quality but less product but your power or you can pay more for not so good quality but a lot of products so obviously you pick your your choice there but I do have to say like the Bath and Body Works um better than these okay so last but not least at all this is my favorite perfume in the history of perfumes and honestly after my project pan ends um i know i'm not going to finish the whole bottle but after my project pan ends i'm going to put this on hold so that i don't use it up this is nude by rihanna it looks like this this really just means a lot to me too because one of my kiddos oh, he's the best um he has his days like every other kid but you know he went out of his way to tell his mom mom i need to get her a present for her birthday and so he bought me this for my birthday and um i don't know exactly where you can get it it doesn't have like a brand on it um but i i've seen it at tj maxx it was either tj maxx or um ross but those kind of stores i'm assuming sell this i don't know where normally maybe if you just look it up nude like by rihanna you'll get it but this is my absolute favorite scent. I wear it every day. And, like, when I smell my sweaters, and I, like, if it, you just pick up your sweater and you smell it, I love that this is, like, my staple scent. Like, if someone picked up my sweater, I'd want them to smell this on me and be okay with it because it smells so, 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 so good. I mean, there's so many scents, obviously, that I love. But, like, this one is just, like, number one, top of the line. So good. If you're taking a trip to Ross or TJ Maxx or something, look for it. Look for her. She's so beautiful, and she smells so good. I mean, honestly, if you see one and you don't like the smell, pick one up for me because um, this is my favorite smell and I never want to use it up. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video, guys. That was really long. Oh, it's not that long, but kind of long. Um, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. So I feel like I just have some words to say today, not really verse or a quote or anything like that, but I just want everyone to be encouraged. Um, never give up, guys. I know... Again, I've said this in one of my last videos, but recently a lot of people have just been telling me about their problems and their stuff and things that they're going through. And it's really hard to, you know, first of all, keep up with all of it, but also it's really hard to know what to say. But I think like most importantly overall is just to um, stay strong and keep your faith because your faith is what's going to, you know, um, motivate you and what's going to keep you keep you sane basically because you know if you're trying to deal with things on your own it's not gonna work things are gonna go bad everything is just gonna end up not as good as if um you keep your faith and you stay strong in your faith and if again if you have any questions of faith you can comment them below or dm me at makeup underscore marissa 612 and i don't just say my instagram for you guys to um follow me on instagram i mean you can obviously but i really want people to be able to reach out because i know that there's so many questions that so many people just don't answer they choose not to answer because it's easier just to you know stay quiet but i really want to be someone who answers questions and really um it helps people who are learning about the faith um or anything like that but um yeah so just stay encouraged guys um, stay motivated, keep up your faith, keep your faith, stay strong, all that jazz. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.